yo, man, it's almost 4.30. I got to get the fuck out of here. Top dollar and pop bottles and drop knowledge. Uh-huh. Hit the throttle on nice autos without college. Do yourself a solid, put them boys on your screen. Wait, who do you mean? I mean canteen and beans. Yeah. When the social norm is on, you better pay attention. They teach you lessons, make you laugh when you're stressing. Must I mention that the style is infectious? I gotta have it, I gotta have it. The rapid fire cabin on my tablet. My boys established a gamut of information from relations to dating to when you lead it, get some patient. The lace in the nation every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 30. The social norm podcast, you heard me? It's the social norm. And I'm just getting warm. It's the social norm. Yeah, what up, y'all? Yo, 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 you already know what it is, man. Hey, I'm your boy Canteen. This my man Beans. What's up, yo? What was that? Hey, it's a social norm, man. I'm doing what I want to do, man. Okay. Hey, it's what, it's Friday, shit. I can't. I okay. gotta live. Can I live? Hey, yes, you can. You Thank can. You. All right. What up, y'all? It's a social norm. We go ahead, fellas. We talk to y'all. Open y'all minds. Make y'all be the best y'all can be. Let y'all think a little different. You know what I'm talking about? So today's episode, you know, we got a banger for y'all. Y'all see what's been going on. If you haven't seen, we here to tell y'all what's the low, man. Hey, this episode is how your ex will only come back when you're doing well. Now, let me tell you something. We were sitting at work one day, and we was thinking about what this crazy shit is going on with Russia and the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And somebody kind of brought this to my attention. One of my fellow female coworkers. And she was like, you ever think that the... uh, the whole situation with the Russians and the Ukraine looked like a toxic relationship. And I thought about it, and I was like, damn, she damn near right. So we're going to discuss that today. Now, before I go ahead and get into this episode, you know I got to give you the disclaimer. Mm-hmm. This is me and Bean's personal opinion. This is not the end-all, be-all. This is not factual. This is not the uh, who did it, who said it, and why. This is just how we see things in our personal life. We got our opinion. You got yours. So we're going to respect them both. All right? Now. The way she the way she broke it down to me was kind of like Ike and Tina. Y'all remember how Ike and Tina was together and the shit was just crazy. Mm-hmm. It was it was it was it was bickering and fighting and slapping and putting people in headlocks and all this stuff. Eat the cake, throwing cake in his face. That's how the Ukraine and Russia used to be with each other. They were all they were family, but it was toxic. Yeah. So eventually they broke apart. They said, you know what? The Ukraine said, you know what? I can't deal with this shit no more. We're going to revolt. You guys, we're going to break this apart. You guys stay over there. We're going to stay over here. And Russia, like, all right, you know what? I, I'm just fucking, I ain't going to fuck with you. Go ahead. Do your thing. Mm-hmm. And for years, Russia just been sitting back watching, waiting in the wing. And sure enough, once Ukraine got on their feet and started doing their own thing, Just like Tina just started doing their own thing. Now Russia says, "Uh uh-uh, you mine. We back together. We back together one way or another, even if you don't want it. And I see this so many times where when somebody gets in a relationship, a toxic one, and then the the person finally says, enough's enough. I don't want to be with you no more. You break up and you sit around and start putting the pieces back to your life together. To where you saying, you know what, I'm going to start going to the gym. I'm going to start reading. I'm going to start getting a new job, promotions. I'm going to start living my best life. You on Instagram, where we at? We outside. <laughs> right? And eventually, what ends up happening? Old boyfriend or girlfriend. Old back. boy or old girl come back. The toxic one in your, in your life. Start seeing you do good. And what? And they, and they call them crawling back. Hey, what's good? What's good, love? Now, I want to know, I already know what the answer is, but I want to see what y'all say in the comment section. Have this, have this happen to you. Are you that toxic one to where you sit around and see somebody doing good and then you want to hit them back up? Because in my mind, I feel like your ex was your ex 
for a reason. Exactly. See, I don't speak to my once they're gone. That's it. I don't speak to them ever again. Not even if they just say, "Hey, I've been missing no, you. We not I'm friends. trying to get the cheeks. Let me no. go. Let me come. Let me come." No. And they start get talking nasty. You're not even having it. No, we not friends. We not. We not nothing. Why? What? What is it to talk about? You wondering how they get your number? Yes, yeah, so I'm wondering. So like, you changing numbers? You I'm doing like, who is this? You delete it. it it's over. <laughs> it's done. Cold blood. You, know, you gotta be that way. That fine. That fine piece. So I, stuff like this doesn't happen. Now, I'm gonna give y'all a little story. Story time. What's her name? Said she hits you up with that. Hey, big head. Oh my god, yeah. you know how many times I've had hey big head in my fucking phone yeah. from girls that I ain't talked to in years. And I'm like, why are you calling me? So I had an ex, and this girl, she, you know, I was obsessed with this girl. Like, I literally like one of these girls that I was really have strong feelings for because she was a freak. I ain't gonna sit there in front with y'all. She was a freak and she had me wrapped around her little finger. She had you wide eyes wide shut, huh? Exactly. Nose wide so open. toes curled, all that. So eventually I was just like, man, you know, something ain't right. The girl ended up we she was toxic. We ended up breaking up. Now we ended up breaking up and found out she was cheating on me. She was dealing with another guy. Whatever. Whoop de whoop cry baby for me, right? But Afterwards, I, it took me about good two months, y'all, to actually start getting over this girl. Because, like, what I would do was, and, and maybe y'all tell me if y'all do this, I would torture myself. We were still friends on Facebook. So what I would do is I'll be having, I'm just having a decent day. Like, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm doing good. Let me focus on myself. And you know what I would see? Something come across my screen? Cooking daddy lunch. Yeah, see, shit like that. That's just, that's another reason why you gotta cut it. And then, but this is the thing: I didn't want to cut it at first. I was so stuck on trying to still see what her moves were that I was like, you know what? This ain't good for me. It's not it's helping. Not when it affects your day like that. Exactly, it would mess my whole day up. I'd be fucked up. So then afterwards, I just said, you know what? Let me go ahead and cut her off. You know, block her. I blocked her. So I, was, I don't have to see this no more. And I'm not really a big person in blocking people, but I just, it was affecting me that much. I had to block her. So then a month go by, two months go by. Mm -hmm. I'm doing better. I'm, I'm not even worried about what she's doing no more. I'm focused on myself. I'm, you know, I'm hitting the gym. I'm, um, you know, I'm going to work, getting money, all that. Hanging out with friends. Guess who ends up hitting me up? The ex. The toxic ex. And she pretty much was like, Hey, what up, big head? What you do you uh are you hungry? And I'm like, Am I hungry? And I already knew what this shit was. What happened was, like all things happen, the dude she was dealing with kicked her ass to the curb. But goes around, comes around. Go ahead. And I was just like, mm, I can't wait to see this. So I she's like, I said, I'm not hungry, but she's like, Well, I want to see you. I said, Well, come on, let's see each other. Now that was my first mistake. My first mistake was yes, it was. But the reason I wanted to see her at first was <clears> just to, to get com uh, confirmation that what I thought happened happened. And and that's reality. Now that I'm older, I realize anytime a, a ex hits you back up, you know what happened. Yes. So she told me what happened, and at the end of the day, I was just like, I shouldn't let this girl back. But you know, I was still. It was too early. Of me just getting over it that she pulled me back. In. How how much time had passed? Do you two, remember? Two months. Oh, two months went by and then she she hit you up again. Yeah, we had broke up. Two months went by and then she hit me back. <clears> okay, up. I can almost see that. <clears throat> but I knew in those two months what it was was the dude used her, abused her, and said, "Get the fuck out." That's so, what you call the phantom pain. Yeah, that's what that is. <sighs> Ruthless. Oh, this is gonna sound cryptic, but I explained it to somebody like this. When you when you really into somebody like you were mm -hmm. and you break up, mm -hmm. just think of it as like an animal being caught in a bear trap. <laughs> They're willing to this, do anything listen, to get off. They will sit there and gnaw the arm off <clears throat> to survive. Yeah. To move on. And that's what you kind of have to cut it off. Boom. Deal with that pain mm -hmm. right there. And so you can move on. And then when the, when I say the phantom pain is when people lose limbs, they still feel that 
they still think they have an arm. That's what happened when she called you back. I thought I that phantom pain. You thought you still had a girl. You thought those feelings were coming back. That's why it was easy for you to go right back to her. And you were still and, feeling that. You know what it is too. I was taking the time to not deal with no one right now. I was like, let me get my mental state right. And that's good. But the problem with that is because I wasn't dealing with nobody else, she jumped right back into being on some like, told you she was a freak. Was it? Okay. Was it, <clears throat> was it the freak part you wanted back? Or was it? <laughs> Isn't that, wait a minute, be honest with me, fellas. Is that not the only, like, I'm not saying nothing, but it's not, not one of the major is parts that, that you want back? My question is, of course, everybody wants that back. But the question is, like, is that is that the part of her that you were in love with? You know what I mean? Is that what you, you thought? Well, I want to say you were in love. That's not, that's too far. I don't but, know. I thought I was. <laughs> that could, that, I'm telling you right now, certain people have certain skills <laughs> that can make people and it's just it isn't just guilty to men. This is a woman thing too. There are certain people who <clears throat> what they do in the bedroom can make you fall and not understand what reality is. It's called being turned out. I was turned out. She was turned out. You were turned out, turned up, turned upside and down. I think she she knew that. <clears throat> and I just was like, but then, and this is what I learned from this from this whole situation. You know that meme where the girls like got the like, eyes roll in the back of her head and she's just sitting there mm -hmm. looking like she's taking it. Somebody posted that meme and it was like, remember fellas, every time you get cheated on or you break up, this is the face she was doing to someone else. So that right there was like, I should have known, like, look, what? Like, freaks don't just stop being freaks. No. Whatever she was doing with me, <clears throat> she's doing with the next guy. I was just her turn, and then I had my turn with her, and then now that guy had a turn with her, and now she tried to come back to me as the safe part. I, After a while, I had to really just own myself and say, look, I can't do this. So I did break it off with her. Yeah, you had to come to terms. Did you? Did, but did you get some But when she came? Oh, yeah. Okay. At least she got <laughs> Yeah. I was going to get my own before I just said, look, we don't need to be together. Um, At least you get that. She said she hit you with the... Uh, okay. Uh Break up with someone, but still be checking out their page. Yeah. yeah. You don't, like you said, dude, I was a simp. You're only torturing yourself. Yeah. Because you're just going to be like, you know, that could have been us. That was us. And I think what it is, is fellas, you can't be where you feel she's more important than your own self-respect. That's the, that's like the biggest thing I want to get from this whole show is that fellas need to have more respect for themselves and actually value what they bring to the table now speaking on that i want y'all to go check out this song me and beans was listening to earlier uh -huh. it's from king george it's called keep on rolling and i want y'all to listen to the whole song and i'm telling you every time you think your ex your a girl whoever is in your life that you feel is bigger than you feel like you need them more listen to that song when you start feeling weak and think you're going to do something that you don't truly feel you want to do, listen to that song. That song is my anthem for the year. 2022, yeah, if, that's my And song. another thing, if you feel like you can't live without that person, I think that's what they made. I yeah. think that's what they made that song. I don't know why they made that song, but that's what I got out of it. Like, when you think, I can't let this person leave. I can't live without this person. Exactly. That's like. just let just You were somebody before you met them. And you'll be somebody after they leave. And I don't just go for fellas. I go for the ladies. I go for anybody. This song could go for either one. But it's mainly for the fellas because this song is by a fella. But you got to realize you got to be more important than anybody else in this world. I know that might sound selfish, but you got to be a little selfish for your own, you know, uh, success, your own, yeah. you know, well-being. And uh that pain is temporary. Now let me ask you this. Okay. Since we brought that in and we transitioned from the war to this, what do you really think this war is gonna bring? Do you think World War Three is about to come around? I do. I think it's a stepping stone to World War Three. Mm -hmm. Um, I hate to bring I hate to bring religion into this, but that's how I was raised. Um, I've heard this so many times 
growing up and you and then when you grow up in church you're like okay i've been hearing this for like 10 15 years that world war three coming around yeah the corner. i've been hearing this for the years in the days in the days whatever whatever but i really feel like not just the war but everything the cryptocurrency you know the way the economy's going i oh this is where the elders were you know all the grandpa and grandma would tell you like you know and then and then the world's coming and then all this other stuff and now it's just the writing is just on the wall it's crazy you know what i mean i hate to i hate to take it there but <laughs> i really think this is what it is hey if you want to get on the show and uh all you gotta do is hit the first comment you know the stream yard comment and you can click on it go to stream yard put in your name go through the portal and we can go ahead and talk to you live on the show uh and if you're liking the uh content go ahead and hit the like button share button tell a friend to tell a friend hit the subscribe button for the youtube channel you know what i mean we're trying to grow this channel for y'all mm -hmm. you know what i mean we appreciate everybody if you really love the channel you know what i mean go ahead and hit that uh cash out for your boy you know what i mean give the that, one time for the one time give that love off you know we appreciate everybody who shows support to the channel you know what i mean my man skins my man uh Brandon, my man Jimmy, my man Nick, all everybody who shows us love, we appreciate all y'all. And without y'all, you know what I mean, we don't have no show. Just being honest. With really? You. We just two dudes talking on the mic. Yeah. <clears throat> and then it's just weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. appreciate y'all. <clears throat> now, you was talking about before. Okay. Now we about to shift a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of a rant. The double standard. Yes. Okay. Give it to us. So a friend of mine, a question was asking me about a year and a half ago. He asked me this question. I asked originally. Originally, yes. And the question was, if I met my lady, when I first met my lady and she was 500 pounds, mm -hmm. would I date her? And the answer was no. It was no then and there's no now. <laughs> but someone brought it up to me yesterday because uh, I had, you know, when I first met my lady, I was a buck 80. I had gained weight to about, I was about 235, 240, and I, I'm, I lost it again. So this person was trying to throw it back in my face that, well, you know, well, she stuck by you, you know, when you got bigger and now you're smaller again, but you wouldn't stay with her when she was 500 pounds. I'm like, you acting like I blew up to 500 pounds and I was bedridden. You know what I'm saying? Like she had to feed, feed me in the bed. I was like, I said, but you don't like short men, but it's okay for you to say that. But if I say I don't want to be with a 500 pound woman, I'm body shaming and it's, and it's wrong. Okay. So I think the, the double standard is that women, this is my, this is just my opinion. Okay. The reason women want men to want them as big as hell is because they know in their right mind, they, most of the women are lazy. And it's and not the same. Men, men are too, to the point where staying at your peak shape, your best shape, staying at the best you could be is hard. It's an everyday grind. And the, one of the main reasons men and women get together is so they can stop grinding. That sound that sounds bad, but there are people who like that. Where a lot of women want to get with a man at their peak to where they most of the time fall off. I, listen, I'm I'm guilty of it. Because you think about it, women for the most part can deal with a man if he even if he gains weight, loses weight, as long as he stays the same type of confidence and swagger, she's gonna rock with him. But men for the most part, we have a certain spectrum that we saw our woman in that we prefer her at. When we met her, she's got like a good 10 to 15 pound up or down. That she can really run with. That's the range. That's the range. Anything over that, we start looking like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> you know, you you now I know women try to say, well, what about if you have kids? Yes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna stop it right now, ladies. You don't you have probably about a twenty pound gain weight when you having kids. That's the only limit. These women out here be taking. 40 50 100 pounds to have kids and be sitting there like oh well i had a kid what the fuck are you trying to make it seem like a hundred pound is something you that normally people have when they have kids that's not true it don't even make sense you couldn't even survive if every time you had to have a kid you had to gain a hundred pounds 
Now, this might be saying the, the uh the what is it the kettle calling the, the pot it? calling, pot the, calling kettle the kettle black because the fact is I have gained weight. I've gained weight significantly since I was in high school to now. But at the end of the day, I've stayed myself in the fact of like how I talk, how I am, and girls seem to somewhat some women find me attractive. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But for ladies, everything for men are physical. So the same woman that was, and I think that's what it's coming to be. I think bigger women, women who are gaining weight, are still getting guys to holler. Now, they might not get the same quality of guys, but if they do, can you really blame them for not wanting to go to the gym and work out? No, I, no, because she, I wouldn't blame him because she got him as she is. So but, why would she change if she's getting the results she wants? You're just talking about the woman who you met at 140. Yeah. And she's yeah, I'm talking about the woman I met at when she's 140. And you know, I, I'm not that type of person. Listen, like things happen where you gain weight, whatever that happens. She's making it sound, she was making it sound like if she gained weight, I wouldn't be with her anymore. It's like, no, you took that question totally wrong. It's You're just a, saying initially, initially before the before anything, before I when I day one met her, I just seen her. It just wasn't my preference. You okay. know what I mean? It just wasn't my preference. It, that's, that's, that, that, is, that is the assumption where you think because I wouldn't deal with a big woman, that doesn't mean that if I was dealing with a woman and she got big, yeah, I wouldn't deal with it. Because I had got bigger. You know, I, I wasn't like 500 pounds yeah. bigger, but I had. She was feeding you, right? Yeah. Yeah, she did that shit on purpose. Yeah. Any woman that tries to make you just keep gaining weight, you don't even realize it. She's doing that shit on purpose. Listen, and, and I realize that she need leeway. This is where experience taught me. Every time I said I was going to go to the gym or something like that, I don't have much of a sweet tooth. Okay. But I would go to the gym and come back and it'd be like 12 cupcakes waiting for me. I made she, these for you. Think like, about this. If y'all ever watch 600 pound life, yes. Why is there not always a woman? Who's got a man who's 700 pounds and she just keeps feeding him. She's trying to enable him to where he can't leave her. She he needs her that much. So she just keeps feeding him, keeps feeding. Him. She don't even realize she's killing him. I wonder if it's like um, you ever hear of Nightingale syndrome? Yeah. I wonder if it's if that's the same thing. Isn't Nightingale syndrome where like if I take you hostage and no, you, I, that's um and you start to like like no, me because of my because of the struggle we're going through. I think that's Stockholm syndrome. Oh, uh, Stockholm. What's Nightingale? Nightingale syndrome? is when you um like if you're taking care of somebody, like they say nurses used to get Nightingale syndrome because they taking care of somebody and they're helping them and they're helpless and then they end up like falling for this person. Oh, okay. Because they're taking care of this person. Shay said food is the way to the heart. Yeah, it's also a way to some clogged arteries <laughs> and some goddamn triple bypass listen i get it i get it nothing that i will agree there is nothing more pleasing to a man for a woman to make him a good meal or for a woman or for a man to make a home-cooked meal to his for his woman but when you see somebody gaining weight and they're trying to lose weight why would you enable them by saying let's go out to eat let's go do this here's some cupcakes you are you are yes. literally sabotaging them and that's so to I, fit and your, that's what my lady did to me she was, I was like I don't want to eat all I was like I'll eat one but I'm not going to eat all 12 of these I was eat, like I can't eat the eat. cake anime yeah that's bad. <laughs> eat the fucking cake I was like I can't eat all this like what are you what are you doing but let you do that the woman will be like man you she trying to make me fat. You trying to no, nah, no. Nah, I'm, nah, nah. I'm just trying to love you. There is actually a fetish. I forget what it's called. Where men just feed women. They just. I think it's called. Uh, you Google you know, lo love you know, plumpers or something. I don't know what it's called. Plumper. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I like a thick woman, but I'm just saying. Once this is the thing. It's sad that like you find a woman. Because you gotta realize this when you're dealing with bigger women. Most of the time, they're strapped down, meaning they're wearing some straps or some buckles or some, you know, jumper cables to hold all that shit in. And like, so when you dating them, when you going on dates with them, they look the best right then. Like they look like they got like even the skinnier women do this. But like 
when I was in college, I didn't realize, and y'all tell me if I'm lying, ladies. Uh, I was going to the club with my cousins, and I was like, okay, we're about to hit the club. I was like, yeah, we're getting ready. And I was like, what you talking about? And and uh, I see what they, they pulled out some glad wrap from the kitchen, and they literally lifted their shirt up, and the other one wrapped her around in glad wrap. And I said, what the fuck are y'all doing? And she's like, we're getting ready for the club. And I'm like, you're stealing the juices? Like, what did he do? I'm like, I didn't understand it. <laughs> I said, what are you doing with that glad wrap? I was like in awe, shocked. And they're like, oh, this keeps everything in. This was like the ghetto version of like a um, what do you call it? A uh, oh you know what I'm talking about? Uh... Y'all ladies, t- put in the comments what, what the damn thing I'm talking about. What do you about. call I know what you're talking about. But Spanx? No, it's it's not Spanx. It's some like old school revolutionary thing. Like like back in like the... Oh, the corset? Corset. It? There you go. It was like a ghetto version corset. Yeah, I said jumper cables. That's what that shit is. Yeah. What, <laughs> straps, you know, bungee cords, whatever you want to call it. Y'all holding that shit in. Waist trainer. There you go. Y'all call it waist trainer now. This shit was a corset. So... But they use glad wrap. And I said, wait a minute. Y'all using motherfucking glad wrap? I said, so what happens if a dude is trying to holler at you and wants to take you home or whatever? They was like, well, we just ain't going home with them. I said, you're not. So you just determined you're not going home with nobody. And then it was like, yeah, we're not going home. We can get he can get my number. We can meet up next time. I said, well, so what if he, what if he say forget it? Well, not for that. Let's say he get the number. When he met you, you was you was tall, you was tight, small waist, big, you know, big booty, all that. Now Did when he really seen, suck in that much, dude, it, it was scary how much they sucked in they they stomach because they had a keg, they had a little gut. All the girls had a gut, but they, they it was just like flat, like it looked good as hell when they put put the dress on. And I was like, oh my god, are you tell like I was almost you don't understand how shocked I was. I was like, are you telling me all women do this? They're like pretty much most of us. And I was like, y'all are cheating us. Y'all are cheating us. Y'all make us think you are, uh, uh, your the body hour, is built a certain glass, way. The and glass. then you flop out all this shit when we get in the bed. Like, do you, I wonder, has anybody ever changed their mind? You know what I mean? That's what I'm asking. I'm like, what happens if you go and he tries to like get busy and he, you see this lad rap right. and then you take this off and I start seeing Free Willy <laughs> come out. That's a good question. I wonder. That yeah. would be embarrassed, really. That's what I thought. I but they was they was like, nah. They said, but when she decides to hit the gym and work out, she lost weight and left him and told him she can finally get a man she attracted to. Not to. That's what I don't understand. Why do women? And, and I'm not saying men do it too, but why do women mostly? I see these TikTok videos where they're saying, You didn't want me at my worst, so now you can't have me at my, my best. best. Yeah, I've what seen sense those. does that fucking make? Please explain that to me. Why would you be with a man that you didn't try to give him your best? You ever think maybe because you didn't work out and you was lazy and you didn't bring nothing to the table that that's why he left you? And then all of a sudden it clicked. You need to be giving this man a gift basket and say thank you. Use it as motivation. Yeah, use that as motivation. His rejection of you, you use it as motivation to be the best woman you could be or the best man he you could be. And I'm just like, why can't you just do that before? Yeah. It, it, you needed rejection to start being better? Maybe it's that wake-up call. Like, you got to gotta put in work. And big, and maybe him, and people don't understand. People, he didn't, if he didn't prefer big women... But I feel like plus size women, and then you shrink down. Well, that's the difference. Yeah, yeah I will he, say this: if you if if I met you and I like the big girls, and then you start losing weight, and I'm telling you, look, you know, it's, okay, you lose a little weight, cool. You're trying to feel better for yourself, but now you ever see them people who lose weight and they in that right, they're in the right stage of body wise yes. that you prefer, and then they take it too far. Yes, the Al they, Sharpton look. They look yes. Like a bag just, of, just look sickly. A bag of bones, the Al Roker look. And you're just like, but they're like, I feel the best I've ever felt. It's like, yeah. But you look but... like death ran <laughs> over you with the train. Like, you look like the, the Grim Reaper's uh, <laughs> assistant. Okay. He said, uh, it should make your silhouette, silhouette smooth. No. AKA your, your, your lady lumps. 
uh, not a dramatic change. Taking it off should not be a surprise to a man. Uh, no, not not a man who's over thirty five. He should not be surprised. But a young man who's not thinking you need a a whole pack of Glad wrap to make your body look decent. Uh, and you're twenty some. That right there is is fucked up. My uh, thing is this, and this is gonna sound messed up. Okay, so let's say they got the silhouette. Yeah, but you know, some plus size girls got those big arms. Oh my god! So. <laughs> I already know you. Two but, plus two ain't equaling four up here. Yeah, they, they, you want to make us believe that all your fat go in your ass, thighs, <laughs> and arms. Yes, yeah, so, nothing in the gut. So you know this, like I said, I'm a little older now. Experience would be like, wait, all right, tell me if I'm wrong. I have a huge fetish <laughs> for loving like girls with the big arms. You know, they have the. The, the fat meat down here. Okay. I I don't know why, but I love to go behind them and grab the meat and shake it. <laughs> I just like to shake That's it. That's wrong. And they, look, the, That's... look, uh, the look when you when I do that to them, the look they be like, uh, they don't dude. know what to do, dude. They literally are in <laughs> shock when I do it. But I just I don't know what it is. I just love to shake, dude. That is <laughs> they be like they they don't know if they should just kill me. Like, like, fight me. Has like, anybody smacked you for doing no, this yet? It's so, gonna happen. They're so in shock when I do it that they just don't know what to do. Because it's like, it's not that I'm like making fun of them. I just like the the jiggle. My thing is, how do you know they're not insecure about it? <laughs> how do you know they're not insecure about it? No, that? they are. They are, uh, First off, every big woman, well, not even a big woman, any woman who's big and lost weight and they still got the big arms, you know, the, the, the big mama arms, uh-huh. Uh, they all are because, like, I know we know people, and you, I, I know some who like they'll wear long sleeves, and like, if they wear short sleeves, they won't raise their arms. Yeah, they won't raise their arms, they won't wave. They'll do like, hey, they'll do that. They won't wait, they won't raise their arms because they don't want to see the uh, the meat, the meat, the meat come out. The and, tricep meat. Yeah, the tricep meat. And I'm like, look, you know, if you just did some donkey kicks, you could that that could burn that away. But they just don't want to do it. But at the end of the day, I'm coming for y'all. I'm coming for your back, your back on our meat. Just be ready, ladies. And I'm just, Dude, I can't. How are you asking that? That's dead wrong. That's not because look, okay. is that even a fetish or that's just something you I just know? like to do? It. Look, it's like I have weird fetishes. Like I like, you know how you have like the elbow skin? I uh-huh. like I like to like grab the elbow skin and pull it. He said, Don't do that to them. If you shake my arms, you're getting popped. Why well, just get popped in? That's fine. It's worth it. You know the risk. Well, don't let them stand behind you, man. They, 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 I just be like, hey, like you know, you give them a hug, you give them a hug, and you and do this, the soldier thing. I just do this. <laughs> That's just it's just a vibrate. It's not like you know, I'm not yeah. pinching you or nothing. I'm just grabbing you it and grab just, it. Just shake a little bit. Just shake a little. Like bit. you got a Jello cup in your hand. Yeah, That's like, but dude. they and they just stare at me. They don't know. They don't know, like, they'll be so shocked that a guy is doing that. They don't know. They don't, they want it. It's like they're screaming inside. Do they ask you why, like, why are you doing this? Um, I'm like, why? I'll, yeah, I'll be like, why do. are you doing they this? They just give me a stare, like, they just do this. They'll be like, like, <laughs> they don't know what to do. They don't say anything as far as, like, <laughs> And I just, I just, I don't know what it is. It's something about, it's something about the back meat. The back meat. Like, I think what it was when I was a kid, my mother used to pinch my back arm. So it's bringing you back. But like, that's when my arm was soft. And like, now I'm older. I'm a man. Like my arm isn't like soft, soft. So like when they grab it, it's nothing. They can really just nothing yank really and just shake. So like, I like to, just, but I don't do it in like a harmful way. I just do it like in a. Hey y'all, uh, I see I see you back there. <laughs> I'm you, are, you are ruining people's lives right now. <laughs> that, okay. If your man can't grab your back arm meat lumber and you <laughs> and you don't let them touch it, like girl, like you can you can rub their arm, but they don't want you to grab the grab meat it, and put shake the indent it. in there. Yeah, and shake it. Listen, I <laughs> but like I have girls who who come up to me and like hit my titty so that, that's like in my mind I'm, i guess i'm kind of like that when they do that i just look like 
Okay, so that's the equivalent. Like okay, you, I mean, you had to, you had to, sh- you had to just, you know. But see, that's not fair. You can't do that. You can't flick theirs. Oh, back. I surely will. Oh, will you? <laughs> I had no problem. You grab my titty. I'm grabbing yours. That's how I'm playing it. <laughs> oh my god. You, what you gonna do? He grabbed my titty. Well, you grab mine too. So I guess we even. <laughs> harassment for harassment. All right. Yeah. I mean, you want equality? There it is. That was a little rant, y'all. I'm yeah, I'm sorry. We somebody brought something up to me, and I was like, but. It is getting serious out there with this war, I swear. And I'm telling you right now, I believe Russia will take over Ukraine in the next four months, four to five months, I'm going to say. Because at the end of the day, what's happening is they don't really care about no sanctions. No. They don't care about none of that shit. And at the end it of doesn't the, really affect the, the key people in that country. No, it doesn't. Now, we said when you get better, your ex always come back. We just saw that the Ukraine has like they're like the second largest country in Europe. They have, I think they're like the second or third with barley and just for yeah. agriculture. So they grow a lot of stuff. This right here lets you know as soon as they got on their feet and started doing something, Russia, like, oh, you gotta come back to us. He showed up right back at their house. This Argentina, baby. <laughs> We're not playing these. It's Argentina forever. Yep. So don't let this happen. The world, we cannot let this happen. Somebody got to step in and have to help the Ukraine out. You just giving them not weapons. Us. Just giving them weapons is not enough. I'm not talking about us. I'm just saying yeah, Europe. We need to mind our business. Hold on your own. England, all these people, help help these people out. Because what's going to happen is this. They're, you think if they take back Ukraine, you think it's, that's the only place they're going next? They're going somewhere else. Germany. The next door neighbor. I, I, we've already seen how they do. It's always down in Europe. Mm-hmm. Europe always been wanting to try to get dynasties. But the reason for this show and the reason we talk about this is to get y'all updated to understand. Don't let your exes come back in your life. They were your exes for a reason. Remember that when they come back and try Why? to remind you of good times you had and and don't Thanks. forget to go listen to this damn song. Yes. Keep on rolling by King George. Go listen to it right now. Click off of this shit right now and go listen to it. <laughs> because I'm telling you, after you watch this show, you won't go do it. And you're going to be sitting there wondering, what the hell did the canteen tell you? I'm telling you, that song right there is my anthem for 2022. Somehow I'm going to incorporate it. I just don't want to get copyrighted. Yeah. Um, That was an old man who wrote that song. but It's a young dude. I'm not weird, Che. Just because I like to rub on places that women might not let people, you know, don't like people to rub, it doesn't mean I'm weird. It just means it's like I'm ticklish in certain places. I thought I didn't realize I was ticklish under my gut until someone actually tried to touch under my gut. It's something about I'm not even ticklish, it's just feeling someone else's hand that's not yours under certain um certain places. You know what I mean? That raises so many questions, but all right. I get you. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> it raises so many. I'm just <laughs> in the bed. I'm weird, dude. I'm, people, I'm weird. So uh, what else you want to talk about before we get up out of here? Uh, we're trying to get our bodies back together. Oh, yeah. So yeah. go ahead. You want to tell it's us? It's the most painful experience I've ever had in my life. So me and Beans got invited to one of our good pals, that's part of our little group. We call ourselves the Get It Gang. First of all, we we didn't get invited. We got tricked. They told us to come to this uh, workout <clears throat> so, uh-huh. where they said it was going to be. There's different levels, yeah, of people doing this, which they were semi right. There were different levels, mm-hmm. but we ended up going to which was called the endurance class. Yes. Now the endurance class is sections of workouts that you have to do within a 10 minute period and then you have to run in between those rounds Mm -hmm. and you get a two minute break this is the hardest class (laughs) of all the classes they do each week and it was our first day our first day these people have been doing this for two months we were day one we're day one and i'm by far the biggest person there we had another big guy there, but he wasn't bigger than me. And he had been doing it for two months. So he you could tell he was doing it too because uh-huh. he was really out there getting it. 
I'm going to have to say we didn't quit. We didn't. But our bodies are paying for it right now. Yes. I woke up. I woke up. I went to sleep for three hours and woke back up with my legs just crying. <laughs> I had to literally find my massage thing and just like use it before I even went to work. Listen, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to buy one. <laughs> Cause I I was like, eh, cause I saw it and I was like, eh. After we get off this show, I got it. I'll let you use it. So you can try it out. This shit is my legs are killing me. I'm gonna tell you what parts of my body hurt right now. My quads and my and my glutes and my core. Because she had us this it was this lady. And I'm when I tell you think Terminator, but was, female version. She was jacked. This woman was so jacked. That she literally was like, like yeah. I'm like, I'm like, okay, let's get it, y'all. She was like five feet nothing, but she was ripped as hell. All muscle. All muscle. Like I'm when I say all muscle, I'm talking about like she was a semi-bodybuilder, it looked like. And she had all these girls in the class. It was literally three guys. It was yeah. me, Beans, and this other dude I know. Pete Game. And I sat there and me and Beans, we was like, this dude ain't fooling nobody. Exactly. <laughs> he coming on this damn, this this damn workout fun. station. So that he could be around all the girls, they could see his transition into from fat to f- sexy, from fat to fit, and eventually, you know, he can just get with them because there were some cuties up in there. I ain't gonna sit there and lie. Yes, there was a couple of joints. Uh, and, but when I tell you, I was not ready. I was. It was. There's nothing. This is why this is great for us because when you're in a group setting. It pushes you more. Yeah, you don't want to quit because you see somebody in there that's way that you think is way worse than, off than you. And you're like, okay, well, I got at least if they keep going, I got to keep going. Basically, yeah, that's basically kept me more. I see big boy. I was like, I oh, feel, hell no, but I, I <laughs> by far, just be honest, was I not the worst one <laughs> in there? <laughs> as far as, I was the worst Listen, one. I'll say you were the most dramatic. I'll say that dramatic because no, when you wouldn't, I, I think after the I second, kept the out. second so you were like, <laughs> I, I was like, look at this dude. Man. No, I okay. First off, let me say this: I weigh probably two hundred pounds more than everybody that's in there by far. Okay, I give you that. so anything we're but doing. But you was going though. He was working. I was going. But you don't understand the energy. See, the energy you're putting out times that times two, the energy I'm putting out. I get it. So when we go jog, like I'm, imagine if I just put a weight vest on you. Do you really think you could stay and do the same amount? No. That you were doing. And I have a weight vest. I, I ain't running Exactly. Like that. So I was dying. Felt, I was dying. And I just like, you know what? The, now, I will say this. The lady was great. She, she kept staying us motivated, telling us, don't quit. It's you versus you. But you ever, you ever like be in them type of workouts and like, like it was good to hear you versus you the like first 20 minutes of the, of the workout. But the last 40, you like, bitch, stop talking to me. <laughs> I don't want to, it ain't you versus me or you versus you. You winning, goddamn it. I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah, I, I was getting, I, I had to zone out, man. I was like, I can't listen to nothing. Because if, if you yeah, know how I you did. know look, I hear she's saying it's you versus you, and it really is you versus you. You're the only one that stops you. But when you see people who you think are you're in better, you're a more physical tr- and they belay and they're pla- they're running past you because like, the keep other going, yeah, because the other dude always hit the all hallway before us. I'm, yeah, like, he's this, like, I'm like, this, this dude, goofy dude, he- <laughs> this out of shape, long titted ass man over here beating the hell out of us. He was killing me, and I'm thinking, me too, he was getting me you, too. I had been known this dude for a while, and I'm just always thinking, man, this dude can't do nothing with me. And this dude was killing us. He sure was. And I'm like, how long you been doing this, bro? Oh, I've been doing this for about three, four weeks now. I'm like, oh, okay. You that's got, what, that's you got, why you got a this. month on us. Eh, fuck it. Like I ain't about to. One. I don't feel too bad about it. In my, <laughs> but if he'd be like, oh, this is my first day, I'd have been like, oh shit. I, I would be like, you lying. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, I was not trying you to. You are a liar, sir. No, nah, but it was good, and we're gonna go back. We're gonna do this month challenge. Oh, I'm gonna get this challenge. You know, going. I'm gonna beat that endurance challenge. I'm gonna tell y'all this, man. You gotta do things different. If you've been doing the same thing and you ain't getting the results you want, you gotta be willing to try different things. Try something different and see if it's gonna be a different result. Because you doing the same thing and think you're gonna get a different result, you weird as hell. You it's not gonna work. It's true because the, the parts I shine in are the parts I normally work out. 
push-ups were easy. The running was oh, easy. Yes, yes. You know, certain things were easy. But them burpees took me down. And let me say this. For me, as big as I am, my burpees is just me getting on the ground and then getting back up. That right there takes so much energy out of me doing that 10 times that I was just like, uh, all this hopping shit ain't about to happen right now. That was, yeah, that was getting me too, that. Just getting down on the ground getting down, and getting back up. Yep, and then jumping. And then yeah. they had us with the medicine ball. We was she was like, throw the ball harder. Like this woman was on us. She so was on us. shout out. Go ahead. I had to tell her I because I've had I've had personal trans before. I've had some bad ones. That's why I stopped doing it. The last one I had, I was in better shape than he was. Wow. I, I was like, How are you gonna tell me? Did you you saw how he looked, didn't you? He had a hood. Listen, he had a hoodie on. He covered it up really well. So I was like, oh, he like, and I was like, okay. But then, like, at, after the first one, after the first trial, I looked at him for real. I was like, yo, I was like, you the same dude that was talking to me? I was like, so you going to tell me? I mean, I, technically, I could be a personal trainer and just tell you what to do. Yeah, I was like, come on, keep no. pushing it. I was like, no, fam. You and this can't is, tell me what to do. I mean, I just, and this is why I feel like for our show, fellas, for y'all to get better and actually listen to us, we got to get better too. We got to yeah. show y'all better than we can tell y'all. And as you keep each day doing something different, challenging yourself, mm -hmm. you're going to get better. And then guess what? The motherfucking exes, the motherfucking uh, people who are leeches going to come back. They're going to try to come back. But guess what? You got to have them blinders. You can't see them no more. They're out. They were out for a reason. The Lord, the universe put them out of your life for a reason. So go ahead and just keep them there. Keep them where they're supposed to be. Watch it. Ain't not, I guarantee you, ain't nothing better feeling than you getting put on and you being the best you can be. And then eventually the person who always doubted you, who always said you weren't going to be nothing, is standing outside looking at you like, damn, I wish I could stand next to them. No, you can't stand next to me because you wasn't. That's why when I posted, I posted something on Facebook a couple days ago where I said, fellas, if you talk to a female, she tell you she don't want you. She don't want no man who's struggling. Run the fuck away. Because the fact of the matter is, is this. Struggle is temporary. Mm -hmm. Success can be temporary. Mm -hmm. If she don't want you, if she only wants you while you were successful, what happens if that success goes away? Is she going to be willing to be with you when you're struggling too? Yeah. Because if she wanted to be with you while you're struggling, she sure as hell willing to be with you when you're successful. When 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 she doesn't know what you're gonna become, she don't know if you gonna if, you know, but she just know you fighting to be something. That's the type of woman you want. You don't want a woman to say, "Oh, I need somebody who's already set." If I'm already set, why do I need you? Yeah, that's true. Aren't you supposed to elevate me? Aren't you supposed to make me better than what I am? Bring something to the table so where I can elevate myself further than what I even imagine. Yeah. And I, I've experienced it. I've I've lived it. I've been with people who they were with me in the good times. But when when the struggle hit, they were looking for the back door. But this is where I say you got to be a motivation. But I can say for a fact, you got to have your own personal motivation for yourself. But a woman can motivate you. A woman is supposed to be your helper. If she can't motivate you to be better in certain things, then that's not the woman for you. No. But it start with you. You got to have your own personal journey, your yes. own self-worth, because if you just basing it, oh, I'm going to get better once my woman. No, because she don't want to just have to do everything. She just wants to add to your life. Yeah. You're supposed to motivate each other. Yeah. And if you can't motivate each other, then guess what? Y'all don't need to be together. And sometimes you got to realize, too, some people are removed your, from your life so you can succeed. You know what I mean? That's true. Sometimes it's, it's, just, it's just what it is. They're not going to they're not gonna change. They're not going to help you. So in order to, you got to. And you got to see that. And you, you have to see it. You, you can't have, sit there and try to make excuses or why they ain't there. Look, if somebody not there for you when you were struggling. Or you needed them, understand what they, what the, what's the old saying? If somebody show you who they are, believe, believe them. them. He said, "Thank you. Uh, I agree. You have to start with yourself first, and then we can build together." That's yes. a fact. You got to build yourself up. 
Make yourself feel like, because you got to realize, huh, you the shit. Even if you ain't the shit, guess what? You fake it till you make it till you are the shit. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, guess what going to happen? You're going to become the shit. You keep trying every day to be the shit. You're going to become the shit. And then guess what's going to happen? The ladies going to come. They're going to say, oh, I see, I see something in this dude. This dude got a different swag about him. He doing something for himself. Yeah, that's so true. So be your own motivation. And if and worst case scenario, if you can't do that, let me and beans be your motivation. Because mm-hmm. you're gonna start seeing us, man. We're gonna keep grinding. You see us every day, Monday and when well, not Wednesday no more, just Monday and Fridays. We come to y'all, and even to the point where we were we were asking, we doing this workout, and we're like, Man, how are we gonna do this? Well, guess what? We're gonna have to reschedule because we're still gonna do our podcast. Because yeah. at the end of the day, this is our dream, this is what we want to do. Yes, we're not gonna stop. We just got to adjust. Damn. Can't is, stop, won't stop. What's life without challenge? So, what do we learn? Today we learned that you gotta do what's best for you. Yes. You gotta love yourself more than anybody else. And you gotta understand, as soon as you start getting put on, the exes is coming back. Mm-hmm. They always come back. The stragglers, because they go because guess what? They haven't done what they need to do for themselves, and they see you moving up the ranks. Exactly. So they say, Oh, well, let me try to jump on that train. Oh no, fly, get off me. Mm-hmm. Get off me. You wasn't you wasn't trying to get on the train when I was at the bottom. Yeah. They thought the grass was greener. Stay out, stay where you was at. Keep that same energy. So Putin, I'm telling you right now, Ukraine ain't having it. Ukraine saying, Look, we doing our we doing our own thing, fall back. You don't want you don't want these hands, <laughs> so we're gonna see what happened, man. Hopefully Apparently they do. Yeah, I pray for everybody over there, man, because you know I don't want I had to get involved in that. Maybe that's right, that, that draft. They bring the draft back. Yeah, I'm 32. I'm not going to the draft. Y'all gonna see me in Canada. We're gonna have this show and in, in... what's up, y'all? It's the social norm in <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> I get the fuck up out of here. Uh, anything yeah. else you want to say? Uh no, I'm good. All right, shit. Well, look, y'all. Hey, we like we appreciate everybody rocking with us. If you like the con- if you like the content, man, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and hit, you know, hit your boy with the you know the one time for the one time with the uh cash app if you want to help us out, help out the channel, you know, I mean help grow the channel. And uh man, we're gonna keep rocking with y'all every day, man. Y'all have a good weekend. Do not let the man, you know, everything he did this week. Throw that shit to the side. Right. It's the weekend coming on. Enjoy your life, man. Every day you gotta live it like it's your last. You That's know what I'm right. talking about? Motivate and challenge yourself. That's every what it, day. That's what it is, man. Hey, I'm your boy Canteen. This is my man Beans the social norm. Yeah, have a good weekend. Do you oh do you want to say something to your mom though? Oh yeah, shout out to my mom. Happy birthday, happy belated birthday. I tried to say it last time and somebody cut me off. Okay, I said it, but what else? <laughs> I mean, shit, you want to say something else? No, nah, that's well, it. Sure. Okay. You better pay attention. They teach you lessons, make you laugh when you're stressing. Must I mention that the style is infectious? I got a habit, I got a habit. The rapid fire cabin on my tablet. Bubba was established a gamut of information from relations to...